was going to read that. Kamakura. Yu's friend who is researching the manner of sleep. His conclusion is that to get rid of the curse, someone has to impale the woken maiden and soothe her. Okay, none of those words were ever used. <laughs> Whatever. And so he's going inside the shrine, and once he's there... What do you mean? What? He's dead! What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you so stupid? Let's go investigate. Check my closet. Okay. When I was replaying the game, I found I came into the room and there was a girl crying. And <laughs> I opened the closet and um the little girl was in it. That may be just a hard mode thing. Let me check on Miku. No, she's still here. So she hasn't turned to black soot. K has. That means K is gone for good. But we can save Miku. E Let's check in user room. See if there's anything to find. Nope. Okay, let's see if anything else is happening around the house. So far I've only dropped three frames. That's good. Very good. Okay, why are you gone? That is such balls. Anything in the dark room? Nope. Jesus. Ew. <laughs> Anything new in here? So let's go listen to that tape. Do do do. <laughs> Rudy's just sleeping. That dude totally died. She doesn't care. Anything else? Okay. Now what the hell am I gonna do with this couch? Crap. He spoiled my couch. Okay. <laughs> well, Tosuki. Yes, I'm Konami. Konami or Tosuki. Snow was falling. There was a big manor, and inside it there was an old shrine. I could hear singing. She's in there. Reka is in there. No, further in. It was much deeper, darker. Like somewhere underwater. No, I'm, I'm talking about my dream. But it was a very vivid dream. It was lifelike. I've heard that there was a place like this in the village where I was found. A place where you can meet the dead. <laughs> like a rift to the other side. There's a shrine there. Where you can offer up your pain. Huh? Yes, that, that's right. 
Kuse, the, the Kuse Shrine. There, Reka accepted the tattoos. The pain. And in the end, I must go back to the manor. I've got to see Reka. If I see her, I don't know what I'll do. But if I don't go, she'll... Holy shiznit. That was Kaname. And he had a dream about Reika while she was alive. Kaname. Could this be the man who entered the shrine? No shiznit! How do you not know this crap already? Uh oh. Hold on, radio. Kaname Kuzu. Kuzu. Oh! <gasps> Looks like you. The voice on the tape left behind by Professor Aso introduced himself as Kaname. He must have set up for the manor in response to Reika's voice, heard in, the dr in a dream, and made his way to the Kuze shrine. Did he find her? Reika, the tattooed priestess? Is there really a place inside the manor where people can go to meet the dead? I can hear a woman's voice coming faintly from the radio. It must be receiving from somewhere in this house. You took the spirit stone radio. Yeah, I kind of already know where it's coming from. <laughs> yep. The sound seems to be coming from the attic. This attic room hasn't been open since you put his things here when he moved out of his parents' house. Okay, ghosty. This is a creepy ass attic. Creepier than normal. Rika? How is Rika in my house? Of all the ghosts to be haunting me. Here are some Japanese chests we picked out from Yu's family's home when the house was being rebuilt. We never used them in the end, but I couldn't bring myself to just throw them away. That's nice. The sound seems to be coming from this shelf. Inside the drawer isn't. What? What? Whatever. Did I read that wrong? Probably. Inside the drawer is an old book and something wrapped in cloth. Inside the bundle of cloth is what looks is what looks like a small stone of some kind. Echo stone earring. Could this be the earring of the person mentioned on the cassette, Kaname? Remember the earring that she gave that Kyoka gave her son Kaname when she s left him so that um his father would find him. Yep, there it is. Reika, who heard the longing of the priestess. What? That doesn't make sense. The other world. I'm soliciting test subjects for my research on dreams as the border between life and death. It was difficult to find someone who could speak clearly about their dreams, but I found someone who seemed to know of the other world. The man has had the same dream for several months in a row. The dream is as I described below. 1. He first noticed he is standing before a small snow-covered shrine. 2. He has only seen the shrine before, but only vaguely remembers it. He has, however, heard of a shrine like it in his hometown. 3. From deep in the shrine, he hears the voice of a girl he left behind. 4. Beckoned by the voice, each day he goes a little further into his dream shrine. Up to this point, this is a plausible dream generated from the desire for home and love. Next is where his statement becomes interesting. 5. An ancient ceremony is held there, and one can meet the deceased. 6. There is a huge cave deep in the shrine, and a river flows there. There is a large pit, and the base of it is the sea. This statement is clearly about the other world, particularly the underworld. According to his story, there is a legend in his hometown about the other world and dreams. 
and much of his dream congrues with it. I record his talk of, on his dreams for four days, comp compiled below. He is from the Mut Mutsu region, where they have an ancient legend about a sea called the Sea of Endless Night that exists in the mountains. There they have many legends related to dreams. For example, dreams are called the rift and traverse the border between the other world and the real world. If you continue to have nightmares, the deceased apparently return from the underworld from the yeah, the underworld. The shrine exists in order to prevent the nightmares. There resides a priestess who sleeps in the rift and will take on the nightmares. The voice he hears may be that of the priestess who sleeps in the shrine of the other world, communicating the existence of the rift. <coughs> the, morning <coughs> the morning after the day I recorded his testimonial on the gramophone, he suddenly disappeared, leaving behind all his luggage. Did he go to see the woman from his hometown? The earring he left is made of echo stone, and since ancient, and since ancient times has been said to communicate thought. Perhaps I can use it to modify the crystal receiver. Paranormal research. Crystal receiver. Yep. There is a reel of film underneath the book. Film. Otosuki. The label reads Otosuki. It looks pretty old. If this earring is Reika's, the tattooed priestess's, then it might convey her voice and emotions. Holy balls. That voice on the cassette was talking about a place where you can meet the dead. Could it be inside that manor? I want to be with him again. I want to be with him again. That was what Rika's voice said on the radio. I... So we learned that Yu's ancestor Kunihiko spoke to um, Kaname and recorded his testimony about where he was and had his stone earring. And now we have a film. So with the radio, we might be able to find where Rika is and finally end all of this. Well, of course we will. It's kind of the point. <laughs> point of this game. What the frick? Oh my god. Hi, crawling woman. What you doing? Why are you under there? <coughs> For fuck's sake. Come on, Ray, let's end this crap. Wait, 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 wait. Save. Because <laughs> I don't want Oh my god. So here we go. We're about to end it. And I know exactly what to do. If I see you, I, I don't know. Am, am I supposed to be alive? It'll be okay, Rika. You! Holy shizna! That was you in his room. Weird. Freaking weird. Does that mean you was still behind?
back, you! Where are you going? I have to see him. I have to find him and be sure. You... I... <laughs> 